Hi, it's John Cronshaw here with my author diary for the week ending March the 12th, 2023. I've had a good week. Um, I've been working on my book, Ravenclaw's Legends Book 2. So this is called The Wolf and the Wyvern. Um, so yeah, I've been just getting on with that. Um, I am just under 28,000 words in, so progress is going well. I figured out that if I can keep up the pace that I'm doing... I should have a solid first draft done by the end of the month. So that is what I'm aiming at. Um, We'll see whether I can get that done, but that is what I should be able to do. Um, What else? I have been reading. I read a book called Trust the Plan, which is all about QAnon. So don't worry, I'm not in the rabbit hole of that conspiracy theory. Um, No, I'm just interested in how things like that come about. So this is a, I suppose it's about the history of where it came from and, you know, how it's affected families and how to get out of it for people as well. So, you know, if you've got loved ones or anything like that who are, who've been taken by that movement, um, there's some really useful stuff in there, I reckon. Um, But yeah, it's fascinating. It is fascinating just the way you can kind of live in a alternative reality. I mean, you know, we, we have this term that came around probably about a decade ago now that was like post-truth but I think we're in a kind of post-reality era now where you can almost have reality is what you want and it's really strange um you know when you can't agree on what basic uh just facts are of reality and life you know no wonder there is so much uh, tribalism and, and toxicity especially in America and unfortunately with a lot of the American things, that stuff does filter over to other countries. So issues which are, you know, very peculiarly American end up affecting things in the UK and Europe and Australia and places like that. So it's it's very strange and uh, it's definitely something to watch out for as well because I think that the Q movement, whatever you want to call it, hasn't ended, didn't end with, you know, the uh, last election in America. I think it's uh, warped and changed and it's expressing itself in different ways in different countries. So it is, yeah, it's it's, it's concerning, but it's also fascinating at the same time. Um, I've also been reading, well, carry on reading, I think I was reading it last week, Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. Really enjoying that book. I think I've got about three hours left on the audio of that. It's great. It's so much fun. It just ticks so many boxes for me in terms of the type of fantasy stories that I enjoy. So, you know, lots of swashbuckling, lots of banter. Um, Just funny. Like, there's some really funny lines in it. The characters are really well developed. The world's just fun. Um, So, yeah, if you enjoy that kind of fantasy, check it out. Definitely recommend that. Definitely recommend that. Um, So, yeah, next week then, I'm going to carry on with this book. Um, There is a teacher strike coming up next week for two days so that is going to disrupt the things so i will be in dad mode for what is it uh, wednesday and thursday next week um but that's fine you know it, it is what it is um i kind of <laughs> it's like a bit of a weird one because part of me is really annoyed that you know i've got two disruptive days and then another part of me is like oh this is great i get to spend time with my son so yeah it's one of those uh good and bad things at the same time so whatever, yeah, it's it's going to be, I don't know, if I can get something like nine to 10,000 words done next week for this Ravenglass Legends book, I'll be very pleased. That is what I'm going to aim for. But we'll see how it goes. So until next time, cheerio.